Oh. So you're yeah, leaving yeah. us? Yeah. No one ever calls us. Hey, things are going great. Ah. <laughs> if, if somebody calls me, there's a reason. Yes, no, I'm, I'm leaving you. If you want to call back and if you or I can call back. Okay. You can pick it up. Otherwise, I probably got to go. Okay. Well, hey, thanks for all the stories. I don't think I don't think Ranger Bob and I will be the same anymore. So no, I I I'll never be the same. No, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. yeah. Me yeah so I got okay. I got to go. All right. Thanks. We'll do it again sometime. All right, Tracy. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect Dude, that. What? What was? What happened? What, I don't know. Uh, wow. Are you still with us, Tracy? I still see his picture, so I don't know if he's still with us or not. But anyway, yeah, he's probably now, now. He's probably listening to see what we say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's okay. He, I would. he wouldn't care. I would. He wouldn't care. Yeah, I I didn't expect that. I mean, that's that was that was uh, that was. That I don't was know something. what that was. <laughs> I can't put a word on it. Yeah, that was. I, I almost wow. feel. I almost feel guilty laughing at half of that stuff. <laughs> well, yeah, well, you know what though, you, but you, I couldn't help it. After a while, it was like uh, this is I holy smokes, this yeah. but the, the way his mind operates is amazing. It amazing. is amazing. It is. I know. Man. I agree. That's why I always... I've, never, I've never met. I've never met him or talked to him before ever. Yeah, I I, I still don't think I've actually talked to him yet. Well, he's the, the one. Truth. He's the one that I told you too about that uh, worked for the Grand Grand Haven Tribune with Mark. Right. Mark Brookie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I knew that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Brookie said, "No, you don't do it that way." And he says, "Then I'm not here anymore," or something like that. Anyway, so I don't know. If Brookie fired him, or he quit, or what? But. Yeah. Well, so. I tell you what, he did knowing Brookie it's and now, you know, spending an hour with uh, Tracy here, I can totally understand why. Uh, oh, yeah. Why Brookie said, that's it. You're done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 He's, what got, a, that's... he's got a mind on him, man. I'm telling you. Yes, he does. He's, I, he's written like three books now. I got to I want to get him and read them because I guess one of them's out of print. Either that or it got banned. One of the two. I'm not sure. <laughs> And and what does he and what does he do for a living right now? Uh, well, he's he's a he's a contractor. I mean, he he does that, but he also used to write for a paper. He wrote for the Chronicle. He wrote for the Grand Haven Tribune. Okay, um, I wrote for quite a few papers, and and he's writ, written like two or three books now. So I think it's three books now. And a contractor like you know building houses, yeah. kind of, yeah. Okay. yeah, okay, yeah, oh, cool, huh? So so yeah. Cool. Anyway, yeah, funny guy. Wow. I I love talking yeah. to Tracy. I never know what's yeah. coming out of his eye. I never know what's going to come out of his mouth. That's for sure. I don't think I, you can just ask one question and just let him go. Oh, right? yeah. 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 Well, that's that's what I was hoping. <laughs> that's I what I was hoping I for. To, I can't wait to hear how you edit that, uh, I, edit yeah. that thing up. That's going to be, <laughs> wow. That's holy moly. You know. Yeah, this might be the last show. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, anyway, man. you and I were talking. Well, I guess now that... <laughs> That Tracy's left us. You and I can do this anyway, because you and I were the ones that were talking about anyway about the Beatles, yes, and the backwards stuff. So I went out and I bought, even though I have it on CD and I have it on my computer and all that good stuff. But I went out and bought the album because I wanted to see if there's for some reason you I said, wanted to see if there's said anything you were different. Do that. Okay, and you yeah. did it. Okay, yeah. awesome. But it was rough finding a, a copy of the White Album that wasn't four hundred dollars. I mean, geez, they were. <laughs> ridiculous yes. amount of money for these I, things that was i was wondering if you were even going to be able to do that but you did yeah yeah so anyway so yeah i played it backwards and of course yeah they sound the same as what it sounded like when i was doing it on my from my cd or from okay. you know the computer but anyway you were talking about the uh number nine Yes. Okay. The song that John Lennon did and Yoko Ono and put together supposedly in his house on a reel to reel. And like I said, we I I have the sound effects album that they used for a lot of the mm-hmm. different sound effects. But I listened to the whole song like an idiot. I listened to the whole song backwards. And the only thing that says some turn me on dead man, like you were talking about. Yep. Is when he says number nine. That's what I told you. Yes. I know. That's what yeah. you told me. And I couldn't yeah. believe it that it says that when you have yes. it backwards. I'm yes. thinking, did he think of this? <laughs> now I'm questioning that because I always thought it was a bunch of crap, you know. Right. Now right. I'm questioning it. Did he do, you know, say something like, uh, you know, turn me on dead man and then reverse it to see it sound, sounds like number nine? <laughs> 
I, you know, I don't think so. Um, and I've got my big Beatles book right here. Let me, uh, let me, and I've also found another song that I used to play backwards. Uh, it was um, from Queen. What's uh, another one bites the dust? Okay. And if you and if you play another one bites the dust, that phrase backwards, it says some of us smoke marijuana. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've heard that before, but I've never, okay. I've never heard it. I mean, but yep. I've heard about it. Yeah. Yep. I'll have to do that. So, too. <laughs> in my big, my, my big old Beatles book here. Let me see if I can't find the. Okay, so here we, here we so I'm in the right, uh, right album. This book is, is it's heavy. Let's see here. So. But yeah, I don't, you know, I, I, from what I, from what I've read and understood, uh, no, there was no, there was, you know, all the, it just happens to be a coincidence, you know, same thing like with the, um, uh, have you ever played, uh, the movie Wizard of Oz and then the soundtrack from Pink Floyd. Right. And, uh, no, I've never done that, but hold on. Listen, listen to this. This is, this is backwards. Gotcha. I'm just saying number nine. Yep. You can hear that? Mm-hmm. Now that's just weird. <laughs> yeah. So you were you were surprised when you heard it? Yeah, yeah. I just, you know, because I... And the other one they said, one of the first ones they did was a song called Rain. Yeah. And basically the song Rain, when they did it backwards... Um, they said pretty much the same chorus, so. Huh. So you can see here there's. Now that was backwards, playing it backwards. So that's wow. basically what they did is they just said the chorus again. Only backwards. <laughs> so uh, I mean, they certainly with with the amount of with you know in this book when you read it, um, the amount of time they spent in the studio uh, was staggering. Right. And so the who knows maybe you know when they were bored they just played crap or they you know I might imagine they would be recording something and they would back it up and in the middle of backing it up on tape they would hear something and they yeah. would be like oh hey hey look let's let's you know and that so could maybe, have been like you know, George like George Martin because he was he was pretty good at that kind of thing i mean he, you know he did before he did the beatles he did comedy albums like you know peter seller stuff and you know stuff like that so maybe he because he was good with sound effects and that kind of thing so yeah i, I, I suppose so that's, but yeah it's uh it's fun though to, to, to find those things and uh and but then he, you know he, you hear about it and then you try it yourself and you're like oh okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah cool this you is know. supposed to be paul is dead okay okay did you, did you hear it? I thought I, I heard dead. Yeah. Paul is dead man. Is that what he said? Yeah. Let me let me turn it up a little bit here. <laughs> miss him, miss him. It's supposed to be Paul is dead man. Miss him, miss him. <laughs> miss him. Yeah. That's and I you know again I think that's just a coincidence, but. You know. Now, I'm not hearing the Paul, but I, the rest of it. Oh, you're not? You're not? Yeah. I... Right here. It's, it's right in here. Let me let me get it here. It's right in here. Paul is dead, yeah, man. So, miss him, miss him, miss him. I hear that. The, the, the Paul part is, is a little weak, but other than yeah. that, yeah, I hear the rest of it. Yeah. So, yeah, so very, very weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very, very it weird. Is. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is. It is very weird. Especially yeah. the number nine thing. I just couldn't believe backwards what it did. You know, it just, that was weird. Mm -hmm. It was, yeah, and it is. It, it's, it's, uh, it's, it is just bizarre. Just bizarre. Okay, so it's another one bites the dust, but do you know, do you know where that's supposed to be at? Right where he says another one bites the dust. Oh. So it's, it's, it's another one bites the dust. -da. And if you play that backwards... It's some of us smoke marijuana. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> I don't know why, but, uh, you know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Do you have that handy or? I, I can get, I can make it handy. Yeah. But okay. You know. All right. So yeah, that's yeah. So the, and it, that one's, I think that one's pretty obvious too. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to find my, 
Let's just look here. Okay. Here In my go. big book of um, a Beatles thing here, it doesn't talk about anything weird going on with the recording of uh, Revolution Number Nine. All right. Um, so it does. It just it just talks about John and Yoko just you know horsing around and putting to, putting together a collage of stuff, and it was just leftover crap that they they didn't uh, use somewhere else. And uh, they just they just basically combined a series of uh, various tape loops, right? You know, you know, and just taped it all together and I just mean, ran it. Just you know, they they talk about you know what album can you listen to all the way through? You know. Uh, that's one right. that I always I didn't I skipped Helter Skelter because I just that one just you know reminded me of Charles Manson so I just couldn't play Helter Skelter <laughs> anymore and of course Revolution Number Nine I just think that's just a bunch uh, of th th crap. this is fascinating so in the process of recording it they actually used three studios at the same time using ten different tape machines and people holding pencils on the loops of tape. Really? For ran, number nine? Yes. Yes. Oh, see, I always thought that they just were sitting in sitting getting high one day in their in their, in their house, it's, you know. It sounds like they used just about every studio that there was there at Abbey Road, and then they had, you know, people with pencils holding the tape, because I guess these tapes were actually taped into big giant loops. And so to keep them from falling and, and so they wouldn't oh, okay. you know, they wouldn't like the tape machine wouldn't eat it. They held these pencils out so that the tapes would kind of go around the pencil and then back into the machine again. But they used three studios at the same time. Well, yeah, because they got, had, more, had more tracks that way. Yeah. There, the, main, yeah. the main, at that time, was it only two track then? Or was it four track maybe or something? It they wasn't too many. Been, you know, this photograph that I'm seeing, uh, there's even a photograph of them. It, these just look like all like two track machines. I would have guessed yeah. though they would have had, uh, it looks like there's a multi-track down at the end. So there, I'm seeing four machines here lined up with a multi-track on the end. So I bet you they used those. But I guess the the whole idea of running it all together at the same time um, yeah. gave it a little extra something or other. Or something or other, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. I listened to it, like I say, I listened to it backwards. I heard nothing else besides that. But then again, you know, I, I could say I don't even like the song. And here I was sitting here listening to it with my headphones on, trying to hear something that it did. <laughs> backwards and that song's like what eight minutes long or something like that so it's it like, is yeah it even yeah. says you're like eight 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 minutes and 20 21 seconds yeah yeah yep. so that put my through myself through hell for a little bit <laughs> yeah it's it's yeah. uh and it, it it's it's a and it's a real fascinating listen with headphones yeah um yeah, yeah it is it, yeah it, especially when you go backwards and hear turn me on dead man because that's pretty clear and for number it is. nine yes it is which is weird yeah it is very weird, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> it's just anyway. So yeah, I got another one bites the dust here, and you're just saying when he says another one bites the dust. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's just go down to that part. Let it go. Are you ready? Hey, are you ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge of your? Gosh, I hope I'm right. <laughs> Okay, so right there. Right about there. All right, so we'll just put that in reverse. Okay. Oh, boy. We're, this is just way too much work for uh, kind of a... I didn't hear nothing. It, it's it's some of us, it, it's, real, it's real fragmented, but it's some of us smoke marijuana. It, it, it's kind of a, a weird... It's not as clear as I remembered back in the day. Um, Let's try that one. <laughs> and you play a couple of them back to back to back to back, and I think it finally comes out. Huh. <laughs> okay. Some of us don't wear one now. I just, I just took the same spot and, and put it back, back, to, <laughs> back the other way. All right, let's try it one more time here. Okay, here we go. Let's just do this whole section. All right, and this is like this is like great radio right now, isn't it? You this think? is awesome. This, this is awesome radio. Yeah. This is this is what got me into the business right here. Is just <laughs> sitting around and. Marijuana. He 
hear it? Yeah, but it's 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 you really have to uh, <laughs> you have to have a either a couple of brain cells missing or or something <laughs> to really think that that did, actually sounds like some of a smoke marijuana. Yeah, but well, I didn't I, hear the I, first things that, you know the the Beatles things right away either. But then after yeah. I listened, it's like, oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. So I, you know, if you listen to it, you know, if you listen to it two or three thousand more times, <laughs> you'll hear it. <laughs> And I'm okay. sure, you know, you've got the time to spare. Yeah, but, I'll, I'll just put the whole thing in reverse and just play it, you know, and just over listen and to over it and way. over again. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And super loud, you know, because, mm, mm. you know, share it with the neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah, I'm then the, yeah, I'll, I'll rattle the windows upstairs. It'll be great. Yeah, because <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's well, that one's only three and a half minutes anyway. So, I mean, you know, that's nothing. I would just consider this homework, okay? So, if, you know. <laughs> You, you spend a week listening to it, and then we'll we'll reconvene yeah. uh, on your next on your next Saturday show, <laughs> and we'll compare notes, right? Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Anyway, I watched one of my one of my favorite movies. I mean, I, I like those stupid, cheesy, you know, like American Pie and stuff. I just love those goofy movies. And one yep. of my favorites from way back when was Tom Hanks with Bachelor Party, and you know that was. You, have you seen that one? You've seen that one, I right? think I, I believe I have, yes. Okay, because that's the one where um, the one young lady just passed away. Um, what was her name? Ta- Tawny or something like that? Yeah, Tawny. Katane? Katane, yeah, yeah. Okay, the the, the, the white snake. Um, yeah, yeah. On the car hood, yeah. Yeah, that's um, Tawny, yeah. Right, yeah, okay. She, she just passed away. She was only in her yep. 50s, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, she was in this movie. She played the girlfriend of, of Tom Hanks. That's right. Yes, I remember that. Yes. Yeah. But uh, some of the other characters, I mean, Tom wasn't really the the big one in it, really, as far as I can tell. He was, you know, had some funny moves and this and that and jokes and right. this and that. This is before he was considered an actor, when he was just yep. considered a clown. Yep. And, uh, but some of the other ones, you know, just, she pees standing up. I mean, there are some great... <laughs> It's some great, great lines in here, you yeah. know, and, uh, and, and Brad who tries to kill himself with the electric razor and, and, <laughs> you know, just stuff like that. And then of course, Adrian Zed, Zed, I need to say Zed, is that how you say it? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And then, he, you know, he sang a song in it. It was just so hokey, so hokey, but it was, it was a great, funny movie. I mean, I still, I've seen it a zillion times and I watched it and it still laughed about, you know. 15 times anyway. I think I might need to go back and watch it again. Of course, not as much as I laughed listening to Tracy, but you know, yeah. Well, you know, that was, that's something we're going to, we're going to put on CD and sell. I think you right mean there. trying not to laugh is what that was. I <laughs> yeah, guess. Kind of, yeah, okay, of yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Oh, man. he holds nothing back. That's for sure. Yeah. He certainly doesn't. And, and once the floodgate is open, it's open. Yeah. It is. He made, what, he, what movie? What did I? I came across a movie the other day, and I, and I was really surprised at, at how many uh, hits were on it. And it must have been around the same time that I started in radio. It was Footloose. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, there was all these. And my son was like, "Dad, you're singing like all the songs in this movie." I go like, "I know it's really scary and pathetic, and 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 all of that." But yeah, there was. Uh, it was quite a few. Uh, yeah, Kevin uh, Bacon, hits. man. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and then you had. Um, well, that within the music you had um, what's his face, Kenny um, Loggins. Yes, Kenny had yeah. a couple of tunes on there. Yeah. In fact, there was one song on there. I can't remember the name of it now, but it's actually really good. It never was a hit, but he actually had a couple of really good songs on there that weren't hits. And uh, so then I got interested in looking at albums that were in movies that had hits, and then to see whatever else. And I was really surprised at how many bands have offered up songs you know, for movies that you never even would have heard of. Oh, it yeah. was, that was, that was interesting. So that was a good, you know, rat hole to go down the other night and spend a couple hours um, <laughs> lost in, in movie, uh, movie albums. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. It's, it's amazing what we do. We, we find, we hate <laughs> ourselves doing, it's like, don't you, you know, I, you get sick of watching TV and all that stuff, you know, but when, you know, yes. you try to be outside when it's nice, but, you know, then at night, what do you do? You sit and watch TV? Nah, I like to you right. know, find other stupid things to do. So there you and go. And I tell you what really, what really songs gets, in reverse. What really gets me gets me off and into rat holes is Wikipedia. Yeah. Is is because because it'll bring it up and then it'll have links right in the article and you'll like bam bam bam. Next thing you know, you're 
you know, you're, you're 4,000 light years away from the original thing. And you're like, what right. am I looking at this stuff for? And it's, yeah, it, yeah. It, but you're right. And then you're right. You're listening to stuff backwards. Or I even threw in like my, you know, I threw on a set of headphones last night and I was tired and I just sit in my chair and just started listening to tunes. Just, you know, I have a big oh, yeah. list of tunes, you know, in my, inside my phone. And I just started listening to all kinds of kinds of stuff. And um, yeah, I love doing that. I, you know, and I'll probably just keep doing that. I probably will die with a pair of headphones on my head and then be buried that way. Yeah. I, you know, I, I, I counted the other day how many pairs of headphones I have and it's kind of scary. Yeah. I got it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because, you know, you always had to bring your own set of headphones to, to a radio station when you work there. Mm-hmm. But it's like, you know, ah, these sound okay, but I think I'm going to try these or I'm going to get these. And it's like, yeah, you, so I have so many pairs of headphones. I don't know. Yeah, I had to go. Hey, he's I had back. To go pick up a saw. <laughs> I had to go to the yard club and pick up a saw. Oh, you yeah, had to pick up a saw. Okay. <laughs> we were talking about headphones and how many we have. Yeah. Do you have uh, a ridiculous amount of headphones or a ridiculous amount of something? Watches. 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 Yeah. 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 I got a lot of watches yeah, too because my dad, I, my dad, one dad, when he passed away, he, I didn't realize he had like almost a hundred watches. Yeah, yeah. Like a trench coat. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> i got the watch for you but no he had he had, had some Timex. he had some pretty unique ones too like the you know because he worked at ford's and uh ford sterling plant in uh in mount clemens hours. <laughs> yeah so he had so one of the one of the watches he had was the the ford car going around as the second hand that was kind of cool i thought oh. you know but i brought it over to a watch place to see if i get it to work again and he said this really is a very cheap, inexpensive watch, you know, really. It's like, well, okay. It has meaning to a, me, you know? Do you have a favorite, do you have a favorite watch, Tracy, that you, do you, do you like her? You know, I, I have watches from all price ranges, but right now I'm wearing a, uh, a Casio G-Shock, which is like a hundred bucks. Hmm. And that's yeah. probably my go-to watch. It, it could, I used to sell Casio. The, the first, uh, lawn, you know, or space launch. You can do a million things with it. Yeah. I don't know how to do anything. When it, when it, when daylight saving times come, I'm like damn it, I gotta reset it. You can't, just, you can't just do it. It's, you know, there's it's like a you know, half hour process to make this watch go back an hour. So you just put it away for six months, and then when the time switches back, you bring I'm it back sure, out. Yeah, just wear a different watch. Yeah, there you go. Well, you got yeah. a, you got a bunch of them. No, I used to sell Casios. It's funny you said cat because the Casios Omega, and uh, what was the other one? Anyway, but. When I worked at Hudson's when I was just a kid, I was like eight, just 18, I think. Uh-oh. And I worked at Hudson's selling watches. And that was one of the top brand watches was a Casio. And of course, you know, Omega was the more expensive watch, you know. And of course, I had to know how to set them all and do all that stuff. Yeah. Now I don't well, have, not a clue. Guy. Okay. Yeah, I'm, 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 no, not a clue anymore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's got four buttons on it. You go, I got to hit this one twice and then yeah. hit this one and shake yeah. the chicken bone. And next thing you know. Go back an hour. Well, the, the one it, I the it's a little thing, you know, and make it go backwards. You gotta do it. Yeah, the one I the one I wear all the time. My dad my dad wore all the time was uh was it a Lex Lexus or something like that? No, not a Lexus. What that's a car. Anyway, it's it begins with an L. Anyway, but anyway, it I wear it all the time, and, and it's got that where you got to turn it backwards to set the date. Right. Yeah, the well, the old kind, you know. But it was it was battery operated, but still you had to turn it backwards to set the date. And it's like, nah, I'll just wait till the twenty eighth rolls around again, and it'll 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 eventually get down to you know where it's right date it's supposed to be. But because you got to turn it around for twenty four hours, I mean, come on, you know, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. (laughs) Yeah, you're right. I'm sweating over here. Yeah, Yeah. I can pull out my phone and see what time it is or what date it is. Why would I want to do that? You know. We were talking about. We were talking about. Did you hear how we were talking about you at all or no? By the way, you want to know the difference between? Because I have a Rolex. You want to know the difference between my Rolex and my Porsche? No one ever asked me if the Porsche is fake. <laughs> <laughs> That's a kit car right there. That's a kit car. Of yeah, course, it it's is. a kit yeah. car. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we almost, you almost lost your Porsche when you tried to make my driveway that one time. So that was a sob. Yeah. Was a sob. Oh, I was the sob. I'm it's sorry. Forgive me. Yeah. I, you know, you have so many vehicles. I forgot. I, you know, oh, no. I'm no, sorry. Really Just like no. your watches and, you know, yeah. all the women, so, you look up their for, skirts and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm surprised you're still on, still going. Yeah. Well, we were talking about oh. the Beatles and the, oh. the reverse songs. You missed that whole part. 
good. I'm yeah. never playing again because I won. <laughs> <laughs> I will never play again. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, I can, I can, I can play them for if you want to hear them again. Nope. No. Nope. Yeah. Well, just nope. it just the uh, because well, Ranger Bob's the one that told me that um, as far as if you play, um, what was it, Revolution Number Nine? If you played Number Nine, where well, he says Number Nine, Number Nine, if you play it backwards, he says, it says something. Yeah, yeah, it says something. It says "Turn Me On, Dead Man." <laughs> it oh, does. I have that tattoo. Yeah, you you want to hear it? I'll, I'll play it for you. Oh, he's got it. He got it. Even though he doesn't want to hear it, play it for him anyways. Okay, play right. it for me anyway. Yeah. Right. Number nine. What's he gonna do? I mean, what's he gonna do? He can't stop you. So what do you think? <laughs> I think you she needs some new headphones. It's <laughs> life altering. That is life altering stuff right there. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know, it's like the the bullpen room or the the, oh. the back room where all the disc jockeys hung out, and um, it had glass block in it. Yeah. And they were remodeling it, and they said, you know, hey, we're remodeling this room. We're going to dem- demolish it. You know, you can do whatever you want in there. So we had these darts, like you throw darts, and they found <laughs> out that you could whip these darts, and they would actually stick in the glass block. So we're putting these darts to stick in the glass block, and then Red comes in and says, like. Oh yeah, you can wreck anything you want, but not the glass block. We're keeping that. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad you didn't have your jarts. Yeah, you could I have know, really did some damage. Charts. Yeah, but yeah, I know, I know, Bill. He's a good guy. Well, anyway, Bill's the one that told me how um, the, the, where it says um, Paul is dead. What was it? What was it again, Ranger? Do you I remember? I can't remember. I can't remember exactly what. Out the play, something, but Paul is uh, dead. But Paul, any, yeah, but miss any, him, miss him, something. Yeah, miss him, miss yeah. him. Yeah. But uh, somebody had to listen to entire albums. Back I know, I know. Well, I listened to. I was telling him that I listened to an eight minute, eight minutes and twenty seconds worth of Revolution just to hear that one little part. Backwards. Well, Tracy, while you were blowing up uh, Barbies or or whatever it was with stuff, that's what we were listening to albums backwards. Yeah, so come on, man. Backwards. We had a tan. We were the nerds, I guess. Yeah, yeah. We were the nerds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't listen to a 45 backwards, let alone an entire album. Yeah, well, I didn't listen to the whole <laughs> album. It was just a song. It was just about revolution and on the 45 and say, Well, now you got a little, you got a project to add to your day if, you, if you're looking, if you're looking for something to do. Yeah. Play it back. Yeah. How do you play them? Do you have a turntable that goes backwards? Yeah, I do. I do actually have a turntable. I don't know why I do. I just got this turntable and it said, it had, it said you can play in reverse. It's like, oh, cool. So, yeah. Or just, or just stop it and grab it with your finger and just back it up. Yeah, you can do it that way too. But I also on the on the computer, I can put the song on the computer and put it in reverse. So yeah, a little easier that way actually. <laughs> sure, I was wasting my time in college. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it sounds like in your whole life you didn't waste your whole lot of time. So I mean, that's yeah. you know that's something. No, well, was he was too busy coming that. up with plans for somebody else to get killed. <laughs> yeah. To kill people. <laughs> Well, nuns were like the driver's training teachers. I'm like, hey, I've got the brake line. <laughs> she always starts out first, you know, drives you somewhere, and then lets you start. So, yeah, take her out. <laughs> yeah. Too evil to die. Um, a couple of years ago, at the Rainbow Auction for Catholic Central, it's like their big fundraiser. And they drew my name, and I won the grand prize. Before the auction started, you could pick anything you wanted in the entire catalog, and you could just take that for free. So I'm looking through it and looking through it. And uh, they're like, got to kind of hurry up. You know, there's people here. I said, I'm, I'm looking to see if Sister Claudette's ashes are available. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> and I, I settled for a trip to Molly. Oh, jeez. I knew it was coming. Because <laughs> <laughs> they would have had a cash in. I'd have taken them. Yeah. They did. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah. Where would you have put them? What, her ashes? Yeah. Oh. Where would I put Sister Claudette's ashes? Someplace like on railroad tracks. <laughs> like you get running over again like Nell. Oh, jeez. Yeah. 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 I'm starting to yeah. worry about you, man. <laughs> I never did anything to a nun. I know. Just that one particular. But, I, you know, you can think it. Yeah, you, I guess, yeah. So, okay. Just a claw. <laughs> Just a claw. The claw. Yeah, yeah we didn't have she, a... Um, Name for she ours. had a uh, an overhead projector, yeah. so that she never had to turn the back her back on the class. She could keep her eyes facing forward, and she always put a baggie on her hand, like a alligator bag, 
baggy so that she didn't drag her hand through the ink and get her hand blue. But she always had this baggy on her hand while she's drawing on the, you know, writing formulas out on the overhead projector. <laughs> yeah, the claw. She had it down. <laughs> her little sensible shoes. <laughs> a little sensible shoes. You thought about her a lot, haven't you? <laughs> <sighs> a lot of therapy. And the thing is, everybody, everybody went to Catholic Central to tell you the same stories about yeah. the claw and how, you know, she yeah. was... She, she was at the top of the list of uh, memories of Catholic Central. My dad, I kept I telling her one. about the claw. And like, Dad, I'm telling you, this woman is, you know, out to get me. So he goes to the parent-teacher night, and he's like two minutes late because another brother at school, so he went there first. So he shows up at the claw, he's two minutes late, and she made him sit in the hallway. <laughs> he's like, you have to sit in the hallway. <laughs> oh, and his punishment for being late. And after that, he was kind of on my side. Huh. He had beat me. He had beat me. <laughs> <laughs> she punished him. He had to sit in the cloak room. The cloak room and Yeah, cloak room. Why do they call it the cloak room? It's, why is it, what's the cloat? Come on, you're the <laughs> trivia guy. What's cloak mean anyway? I always thought it's a cool uh, room you put uh, your coats in. Why do they call th- it cloak? I think it's like like ghoul. I think it's just the name that got made up and then it yeah. became a real word. You know <laughs> did you guys saw that when you're playing like hide and seek where there was ghoul? You yeah. stand on it and like, you can get tagged. I don't think that's a real word. I think that was a word that just yeah. became a word. Well, the funny thing is that when, when they tore that school down, because Lincoln School, it was a really old school that I was at. It, you know, it had two floors, and they tore it down, and you got to take certain things <laughs> that you wanted. And for some reason, I took the the coat hooks that were <laughs> in the cloak room, I guess because I spent so much time there that yeah, I wanted the, the coat hooks to, <laughs> to remember. You're like the college ball on the... Yeah. Tom Holtz, your friends. <laughs> you yeah. faces on him. I remember one of the fr- one of the friends of mine. His his dad went there to get uh, take the bricks. You know, a bricks work because it was a big brick school, and so he'd take the bricks. Well, he had his this Buick station wagon, and we'd fill that thing with bricks, and it would be like <laughs> all the way down the road. You hear it go, <laughs> <laughs> it was dragging it <laughs> to the bottom, you know, because it was so heavy. But we went took like three or four <laughs> trips and got getting bricks for that guy. So we build the. Rebuild the school in his backyard. Yeah, well, he he built a really nice uh, grill <laughs> in his backyard with that and a few <laughs> yeah. other things. Yeah, yeah. But uh, when they tore down um, uh, Shaw Walker, I have a, a again about five trips and a truckload full of um, bricks from Shaw Walker. They tore that down. They're hmm. colorful. They're like you know yellow and orange yeah. and stuff. They were yeah. Chicago brick company. They were nice. Yeah, so, so did you do anything with them yet, or there. no? Um, yeah, just little things around the house. Oh, okay. Make it look but they, they, they didn't compress well. They kind of, some of them kind of fell apart, but you think this building's up for like a hundred years and they didn't fall right. apart, but I took my yard and they disintegrate. Yeah. So I think they only went one way. <clears throat> I think they were one way bricks. Yeah. And I had them faced the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. I was, and, I was trying to build, rebuild my, uh, my fire pit because I got a ring to, to put in there instead of the, the blocks because the blocks always fall apart and blah, blah, blah. So I'm doing that, and, and I realize how old I am trying to pick up those, those old bricks that were in, in, in there <laughs> to move them, to, put, to, you know, to do it all new. And it's like, man, oh, man, I'm, I'm old, man. I'm getting old. Jeez. I can't. And these aren't like cinder blocks. These are just like little bricks. No, these aren't like, like little bricks. Yeah, those are little bricks, but these are like cinder blocks. Yeah, that I'm trying to pick oh, up. Yeah. yeah, the big, the yeah. big thick ones, Digging not the, hole. yeah, not the little patio <laughs> blocks. I'm talking the big ones. You know, the ones yeah. where you, you got to, you know, strain and your back like pops and yeah, all those, those ones. Mm-hmm. The wife told me, no, get get one of the grandkids to do it. It's like, no, I can do it. I'm a man still. I can do this. And then she's rubbing my back at night. But anyway, you know. Yeah, I would just build another one. Yeah. Yeah. Easier. Fill yeah. it in. Take the hole out, you know, dig a hole right next to it. Just fill that one yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's a good idea. Yeah, I didn't think about that. You always call me Oscar before you have these big construction. I know. I, I should. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be out. You are the construction guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to not be, but they keep pulling me back in. Yeah. 